Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the 10 best free AI art content generators that you can find. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. So I had to search all over the world, I wouldn't say all over the world, but all over the internet to find these uh, wonderful AI content generators. Most of them are free to try, and some of them are experimental, so I want to put that out there. All right, so the very first one is called Night Cafe, and it's an AI art generator. So if you can't draw, no problems. You simply go here, you click on start creating, and then you can just simply either do text to image or text to video, which is the most popular one, or you can do a style transfer. You can turn your photo into a masterpiece. This is an example, astronaut walking on the moon, and it becomes a kind of like a mid-story night, um, Midsummer's Night, I believe it is, by Vincent van Gogh. So they combine the two elements, and this is what you get. Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions again. I've mentioned in another video how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate my channel and to save time while building traffic. So hey, if you're interested in how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate a lot of your work and to build traffic, uh, I'll put a link in the description and it will take you to the course where you can see how I do that. It's just there for people who are interested. So let's get on with the video. So this is kind of mix and match. This is more of a descriptive you know, text to image. And it's very self-explanatory. You can just click here and it'll take you through everything. You have oil painting, uh, cosmic, sinister, candy, fantasy. There's a whole bunch of different um, <laughs> styles that you can pick from. Now, the, I have to preface this real quick that you have a certain amount of credits per day that you can use to create uh, a set number of images. And then after the, after you go past that limit, you kind of have to stop and wait for the next day. But all in all, the, f the free plan is, is good to get your feet wet and uh, see the capabilities of AI software. Um, the other thing I would tell you about this is when using this, uh, it depends on what the traffic coming to the site. So if you use it during slow traffic, you know, hours, it's pretty quick, but if you can kind of catch it during peak traffic hours, it can be pretty slow. So my recommendation is if you're not, um, if it's not generating the, the image quickly, just try again at some other time. All right, so that's not ca Night Cafe. All right, the next free AI art uh, content generator I'm gonna show you is called Art Breeder. And basically it uses machine learning or AI to create images within a few seconds and these are a few samples of what it can create and then you can just go ahead and explore different images by different users all right here are some of them right here all right and it looks it looks pretty amazing i wish i could i wish i could draw any like one of these not, not even like like this one i just like the anime version because i'm pretty bad at drawing and if you want to go ahead they got a free demo in here you just click on here and uh, wait for it to load. The good thing about this is it is a web-based tool, so you don't have to worry too much about it. So here's the uh, instructions. Select a starting image to begin with. So you just click on, uh, let me just click on one of these. And then you can just, you know, kind of maybe change this around. Uh, how about I change the text to Dogs playing poker, uh, just for fun. Let's see if it can render. Wow, that's uh, that's 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 a dog ish, <laughs> and I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a card. Um, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it's, it is kind of creepy. You can go ahead and re-roll and try again. But this is basically fun to play around with. All right, so I'll leave that. Um, that's Art Breeder. Let me move on to the next one. Let me close out of this. All right, the next one is called Hot Pot. And it's basically an AI creative helper. Uh, it can do several uh, different artistic AI tools. You have things from... Uh, turn your imagination into art. You can remove a background. You can do a different writing task. You can turn a black and white into color. Uh, restore old photos. You can enlarge photos. So it, it's kind of like a, you can also translate stuff. 
uh, and then also get the uh, color palette. So it, it, it I want to say it's kind of like a it is an AI art content generator with you know several other tools that are more geared towards image enhancement. All right, so let me be clear about that. And we're going to be focusing on this one for the purposes of this video, the turn imagination to art. And this one allows you to create uh, NFTs. Okay, so this one uh, also has, you know, it requires a login and it also has a credit based system. So once you're done with the credit, you can either buy more or you can just wait until the next day and then it recharges. All right, and the same holds true just like Night, Night Cafe with Hot Pot. So if you catch it in, um, you know, a uh, slow slow traffic, then it will be quickly, but it will work quickly. But if not, then just try again at some other time. All right, so that's Hot Pot. Move on to the next one. Next one is Dream. It's called it's called a Deep Dream Generator. <laughs> it has a pretty uh, pretty nice nice name there. And what it does is it's kind of like an AI human collaboration. So in the other ones, you know, you would tell the AI what to do, and the AI would just go ahead and do it. This one kind of you know you kind of guide the AI. It gets input from you, and it it, it creates its own image. So this is in one example. You have the you know wave and you have the person and they mix the two um i don't know that looks it looks interesting <laughs> it looks kind of interesting all right um and then you have this one over here thin style so you have this image here a painting here and then they combine the two like that all right Al along with the color palette i guess and then this is the deep dream hmm. oops sorry all right, so you got the bird, and then I guess the background kind of mixed into there. And then you can always click on Get Started and uh, test this one out. Um, here are a few of the different you know, kind of images that uh, can be created using this software. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty pretty decent. Um, it's definitely more an abstract kind of realm, but um, I, I kind of like it. All right, so. Uh, they also have different styles too, but I, I think mainly it's geared towards abstract. All right, so that's uh, Deep Dream Generator. Next one is Deep AI. So basically, this is just more like a proof of concept. It is kind of rough, um, but let's say you just need a, an image. You just simply text it in here, and it creates it, it generates the image. So your results might vary. Let, let me type in something like. Um, moon let's see dog on the moon because why not and let's see what pops up hmm maybe something was lost in translation here because this <laughs> how about just dog okay so it got die but I guess when it gets how about a cat die No. All right. So simple, simple, I guess. Uh, how about cat? Okay. So simple terms. That's kind of a weird looking cat, but I, I guess I'll give it credit <laughs> for trying. Uh, I guess certain terms, if you keep it simple, it, it can it can get it right. And your results are kind of kind of creepy. It can be creepy. It can be cool. Um, it, it's fun to play around with, but it's free. Okay, so go ahead and try it. It's called Deep AI. It's a text image generator. Next one is called. Uh, let me see. Let's get started. It's called. Oh, well, the website is experiments.runwayml.com or Generative Engine. Let me go ahead and write this real quick. So you basically, it, the interface is really nice. You basically type in what you want on the left and on the right side, you should get something similar. So I'm gonna do the same thing, cat, dog, see what happens. No, how about uh, dog on the moon? Okay, maybe, maybe that would be moon-like. <laughs> Um, interesting. How about K 
cat on the roof. All right. Well, it looks like a cat-like image on something. So as you can see, the results are very similar to the other one. It, it's, you know, it's there, but not quite. And it's also de on the demo phase, I guess I, you can call it. All right, so let me move to the next one. The next one is interesting. It's called My Heritage. And it allows you to animate photos. So um, what some people have done is they, they use their kind of uh, grandparents, great-grandparents photos, and they uh, plug it in here. And I guess they get a kind of, kind of 3D view of what their um, – relatives or ancestors would look like now i i think and you know it's kind of both cool and creepy at the same time <laughs> because you know I, I don't know how how you would react to this but it is a, it's it's an ai tool it's there you can go ahead and and, and try it out uh, they also have other things like family tree research dna and stuff like that but for this purpose we're just using it for the animate your family photo and i'll leave a link um, I'll, I'll have a I'll have a, a link that has all these things uh, consolidated so you can go ahead and, and check that out let's move on to the next one the next one is called uh, let's see meta demo lab all right and it basically allows you to animate drawings so uh, what you can do and a lot of people have basically is what it's created for is you take a drawing preferably a child's drawing and you just upload it and you can go ahead and animate it right here basically you would it would upload scan it probably trace it out and then you can have it animate you can animate it so that's pretty that's pretty neat it's uh all done by ai so you can know, just go here get started upload the photo here are different sample photos that have been uploaded and then once it's uploaded, you can go ahead and animate animate that. And I think it's it's fun for kids if you have kids or you just want to play around with it. I mean, who who doesn't want to animate their drawing when, especially if you have downtime or just bored? Uh, so give it a try and and let me know the results. So the next one is called Starry AI. Um, this one is pretty neat. This one allows you, this one gives you about five credits a day, and I think it takes about maybe two credits to create an image. Uh, depending on what what uh, selection you pick so this one right here you have two kind of AIs into one one is a one produces dreamlike images that are more abstract and the other one produces more um, reality kind of coherent ones so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one uh, because I like to kind of make out uh, it's trying to like understand and recognize what what I'm, what the image is so let, let's try this one um cat a, a cat dog and then add styles uh let's see very interesting let me go with uh, this one here you can um give it a, a kind of like a sample photo right for the ai to get more information and i'm just going to go ahead and create so it's two credits per image for this one all right and it looks like these are my other ones i've created some cyberpunk ai cyberpunk just to you know just why not <laughs> and what it does is it draws it in drafts so you know this i think this was the first one and then this was the second and this is the first one and this is the second iteration so um just keep that in mind the first iteration may not be what you like so you might have to kind of refine it all right, but all right, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it run, and then I'll get back to you when it's ready. All right, so it has completed rendering. It took about I'd say four minutes, and this is the results. Let me go ahead and click it so you can see. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a cat-like kind of possibly a dog-like figure, right? and. Um, you can either download it, you can upscale it, you can share it, and you can evolve it. This one's a cool one, so you can kind of make it uh, evolve this this concept right here if you want to, or and you can publish it. So that is Starry AI, and then the last uh, free AI art content generator is called 
Dal E Mini. And this one is kind of problematic. It's hit or miss. Uh, sometimes I type something in and I get something, and sometimes I don't. So let's see. But cat. It's working. I'm gonna pause it because I don't know how long this is gonna run. Okay, it's been a while, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, maybe you'll have better luck when you use this software because I guess it's high traffic time. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, it's a bit. It's a it took about a minute, and uh, let's see what the cat photos look like. They okay. They look like cats, but they look like kind of like distorted cats. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. They don't look, uh, this one looks kind of normal. All right, but as you can see, it, it, it works very similar to the other ones. It's just a bit slower. And you know, the results are hit or miss. All right, so I hope these uh, 10 free AI content generators were uh, useful. And if it was, could you please hit the like button? I'm Vince from Digital Men Institute. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.